Hi, I'm Andrew Swaffield. I'm the Chief Executive of the Monarch Group. So I've been invited to talk on a panel discussing Brexit, which is the UK's decision to leave the European Union and its impact on the travel industry, both inbound and outbound. I think it's probably going to be no real substantive change for the next couple of years. Uh, whilst we uh, trigger Article 50 and go through this two-year process, but we really have so much to plan for that we're going to need time to do it. I mean, it's 43 years of being inside the EU. We're not going to be able to get that sorted within two years. The freedom of flying from the liberalization of the air travel market and the impact of that is very important. We also need to think about visa-free travel. So will people still be able to travel between Europe and the UK free from any hindrances? We need to think about the number of workers from the EU working in the UK, particularly in the hospitality business. In London, 64% of workers in hospitality are non-UK EU nationals. Will they still be able to work here after we leave the EU? We've got things like the Posted Workers Directive, which allows holiday reps to work in the Canary Islands uh, on UK passports. Will they still be allowed to do that? We have the European Health Insurance Card, for people to get free medical cover and we have a whole bunch of regulations for financial monitoring of travel firms so there's a whole load of stuff very very interesting from an industry point of view